hey guys welcome back to the passive money plan um so recently in the recent weeks days i've uh, i've met a few people that are doing their own form of entrepreneurship um they're you know involved in crypto and things of that sort doing their own thing but amongst that crowd i've um realized or noticed that it wasn't directly said but the impression is given that the idea of being a w-2 employee initially is just a no-go like you can't do that and i feel like this is a popular idea especially on social media i've seen it that social media is the first place where i've actually seen this kind of mindset but um you know it, it's it's a uh it's interesting because the way at least i think kirby views it as well the way i view it is if you don't have any other sources the w a w2 job is a stepping stool it's talked about in the book rich dad poor dad you know be the best worker so that you can invest heavily and get out of being a w2 you know slave or rat or whatever and you know this mindset that you can't have a job and you've just got to graduate high school and just throw yourself into trying to figure it out i think that is a very it's not impossible but i think it's a very risky um path for one to take but kirby what are your thoughts on on that First thing I want to do, I want to blame Robert Kiyosaki for this new social media aid. Uh, I want to blame him because they've exasperated what he said. Is he wrong with, with what he said? No. But they didn't took what he said in the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and they made it a life of their own. So now kids today thinking when they turn 18 to 19, oh, I... I shouldn't work for nobody. I should create my own, which is a good mindset. But they then took it a step further and made it, oh, I'm not going to work for nobody else. No matter if I'm broke or not, I'm not going to work for anybody else. And I'll just sit here and suffer until I create my own job. I've been at meetups and things of that nature, and I met people just like that, that don't believe that. Uh, they should ever work a W-2 job. But the thing that people miss, I guess they only take a snippet of the book and not reading the whole book. Robert Kiyosaki with his billions of dollars of net worth and billions of dollars of debt, he worked a job. He worked jobs that paid benefits and gave him compensation when he lost his job or when he was fired from his job or what have you, depending on how you look at the book. And I think that's a big misconception that people just think the Grant Cardone's, the Robert Kiyosaki's, Grant Cardone, for the record, he has a degree and he worked a job, a regular job, to, that was his baseline, that was his jump off point to get into where he's at. And what happens is, again, with social media and things of that nature, they have, they have exploited it to make it look like, oh, nobody should work, nobody should do that. So I'll give you a couple tidbits here. If you follow the tax code, the tax code will tell you if you have a W-2 job, you get taxed more to somebody who doesn't have a W-2 job. If you have a small business LLC and you take a payroll and you get payroll from that job, you get taxed more than somebody who has a job and you get taxed more than some, way more than somebody who's does to have a job and that's just an investor with that you have to start somewhere you have to build capital it takes the saying it takes money to make money is a true statement i mean i know there's people out there that's saying oh create a finance or you can do it with no money down or you know you have the the people out there that are saying you could buy business with no money and all that the key is you have to know how business operates you have to be on the fries at McDonald's to understand your niche into a business operation. You have to know how business operates. Nobody is just handing money out to people with no knowledge on nothing. That just don't happen. 
I mean, hell, I've been doing real estate since 2016, and I just started doing seller finance deals in 2024. Because now I have time in the game. I have, I have credibility in the game. I, you know, put boots to task. I've been actually doing the work, and people see the work that I'm doing that gave me the opportunity. Somebody fresh out of high school is not getting seller financing deals with no knowledge about how the industry works. I mean, it looks sexy, it looks cute on social media, but that's not the reality of it. This whole, hey, I can just get out of high school and make a crap ton of money, that's far from the truth. Or I don't need to go to college. You don't need to go to college, but you need to continuously learn, especially if you want to go into the real estate market or the business market or something like that. You have to learn what these markets are. But while you're learning, you need to produce an income. Sorry that the income is at the most, the highest tax brackets in the U.S. tax code, but that's what you got to do to survive, to wage your time. But on top of doing your 40 hours a week, wherever that may be, you need to spend another 40, 80 hours a week studying the industry where you want to go to. And then use all that money that your W2 job is producing to focus on that industry that you want to go to. So, again, Robert Kiyosaki's book was not printed wrong, created wrong, written wrong. It was 100% right. But I was saying that they exasperated, but they exploited it. The social media world exploited it to make it look like Oh, you never should touch a job ever. Well, how are you going to get the money to start off? How people are going to trust you if you're not going to put your own money at risk for what you're doing? Just to start off. But once you're in the game and you show that you're a competent operator and can make things happen and shake and move, then that's another thing. But until then, you got to keep your head above water. You got to stay afloat. You have to do the things that are necessary to keep your life survival until you get to where you want to go. And unfortunately, that's a W-2 job. It's nothing wrong with ever having a W-2 job. You will never hear us on this channel talk about, oh, you should never you should never work. You should never get a job ever. You have to stay afloat till you get what you want to do and make it happen. Until then, I mean, you can go to the Zubers. You can go to the Lumberjack Landlords. You can go to Dion Talk Financial Peace. You can go to all of them. The only person that I say that probably didn't have a, a real job it's maybe Warren Buffett. And he's the alpha of the alpha of the alpha of investors. But he started investing when he was 11 years old. Everybody else, they started off with a job. Contrary to what they say on social media, they start off with a W-2 job. And it's probably at the local McDonald's in, in their neighborhood. They did do W-2 work, even though they're telling you not to do it. Again, remember where they're telling you this information from. They're telling you this information from with all the knowledge that they have gained through the process. Now, if they had all that knowledge at the beginning, could they start with, with uh, no job? Maybe. But it's so funny, all of them started with the W2 job because they didn't have the knowledge. While you're gaining the knowledge, you need a W2 job to keep you afloat till you can be able to implement the knowledge that you're learning. Until then, all this, oh, I don't need to work, I should never work for nobody. Throw that shit out in the garbage because you need to do something to keep yourself afloat. Now, if you choose to have a family and have this mindset, like I've met people at meetups doing, I mean, literally, I met a guy at a meetup that said he got a wife and kids and said, oh, I ain't working for nobody. And then I said, okay, you got any deals? Oh, no, I can't find a deal either. <laughs> so what you, oh, oh, I'm still not going to work for nobody. So what, what are you going to do? So you're just going to sit here with this mindset and in the world, because you can't go to the bill collector and be like, oh, yeah, I ain't going to work for nobody, so I can't pay you. You're going to be out on the street. It might work for them for, you know, a couple months. The wife might work and be like, okay, I'll take care of you and, and inspire your dreams. But eventually, she's going to get tired of that crap, too. I mean, look at the Bezos, the uh, Elon Musk. They all had a job before they created this element of what they're known for. And while they was working that job, they spent more hours working on the element that they're known for now to make it happen. And they use all the money from the WT job, or most of the money from the WT job to make that happen. That's what everybody in the United States and in the world needs to do before they get there. Not thinking that, oh, I'm going to sit at home and I'm going to watch a couple of YouTube videos and then next thing you know, I'm good to go.
So, Alex, I'm going to stop there before I just go on a tangent. We'll be here for four hours. <laughs> yeah, um, I like the points you made, especially, you know, where you mentioned Warren Buffett was 11 years old when he started. Um, a couple of these, a couple of the people that I uh, that I'm referring to, they started young and that makes sense in their case and makes sense why they've maybe never worked for somebody because they started at 14 one started at 14 the other started at 16 and so they had all that experience if you're trying to raise capital you can't just come fresh out of high school have no experience see some videos on social media and think oh, okay i just got to go talk to people and be skillful with my words and maybe i could raise capital you have to have experience there's no way i can there's no way i would have been able to convince Kirby when I first met him, hey, invest with me. I have, you know, this plan and vision when I have no experience, no capital, nothing. You know, you have to have experience in what you're doing. You have to have contacts. You have to have information. You have to have a plan, a strategy, something that makes sense and something that's been proven to work with you, not with other people, with you. And so that's a what I think a lot of kids are forgetting and that's why i say it's such a dangerous path it's not impossible it's obviously been proven to work by a few individuals but they started at such a young early age and they you know warren buffett starting investing at 11 by the time he's 18 what he's got seven years of experience at 18 years old you know so it's a it's a different it's a different path for sure i mean you've gotta you've got to know what you're doing and if you have an idea and you have no capital and no experience and you just think that you can get away with not working at a job and someone's just going to give you money it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense you know you're not going to be the one to find a millionaire that's going to take a shot with you just because you're a kid i think they don't want to lose their money so that was my view on it right and and that's the the thing this people that you see on youtube and they they say they never had a job or they they got other people's money only people that they convinced was people that isn't privy or i'm not gonna say isn't privy to youtube or doesn't have the nav knowledge base to navigate youtube and they just regurgitated stuff to people that didn't know any better but like you said, if you came to me and said, hey, I want to invest this money, I'm going to grill you to the end. Especially if I got money to invest in you, I'm going to grill you to the end. If you don't have the answers that I have that can't be repeated on YouTube or on social media, then hell no, I'm not going to invest in you. So that's the whole fake it till you make it attitude is done. I mean, now I get people calling me and saying, hey, why can't I just give you the money to invest in it? But they weren't saying that based off of, oh, just me regurgitating stuff. It was... Okay, I had to put troop, you know, I had to put troops to task. I had to actually put in the work to show that I was reaping a benefit from it. It couldn't just be simply because, oh, I read a couple books on, I mean, I read a couple articles on Yahoo Finance or Google or CNBC and then repeated it. And then they said, oh, yeah, here we go. They had to see the efforts and they had to see the fruits of the efforts that I was putting in. That's what I was trying to say. But most people just think, and I think too much information is bad information. And I think that's what we have on social media is too much information. And people just think that, oh, the world is so easy. And next thing you know, a recession going to hit and then everybody going to be wondering what the hell happened. I mean, we saw it during COVID. We had, we had jobs. We had millions of jobs that wouldn't get filled because people just thought, oh, I couldn't, I, oh, I shouldn't be working. Now then when now all the all the free money's gonna dry up and then everybody gonna be asking where all those jobs went. Y'all didn't want them when they, when they was offering them. Now you need them, and then now you ain't got nothing to say for it. But with all that said, we're not gonna beat this, we're gonna not gonna beat this like a dead horse. Um we just gonna say our parts and let it drive on. But understand that starting at a WC job and you wanna create wealth and you want to be a big business owner or you want to do all this great stuff, starting at a WC job is not a bad thing. It's actually the optimal thing to get the baseline going to fund your next project. Because if you don't believe in yourself, why do you expect other people to believe in you? So if you're not going to put your money where your mouth is, why, would, why should somebody else? 
And the only way you're gonna put money where your mouth is is have a job to pay to put money where your mouth is. So with all that being said, y'all have a good one, and we will see you in the next video. See you guys.